Hi, hey, 8th graders. We are doing um, Module 4, Problem Set for Lesson 22 today, and we are comparing uh, rates, uh, which are given to us in different ways. Um, so number one, they give us the rate um, in a sentence, and here they give us the rate in a graph, and we have to figure out which train is faster, train A or train B. So let's start with train A. Train A goes a distance of 500 miles in eight hours. Remember for rate, we want distance over time. Distance over time, miles per hour, right? I go five miles in two hours, right? So we want distance over time. So for train A, our distance is 500 and our time is eight hours. So 500 miles in eight hours. How do we get our unit rate or our constant rate? We go 500 divided by eight. 500 divided by eight. Remember back in seventh grade, finding unit rate? 500 divided by eight. So I'm going to go take it up the calculator, go 500 divided by 8, and I'm going to get 62.5. So train A is going to go 62.5 miles per hour. So um, they want us to write the linear equation that represents the situation. So the linear equation, we remember our total distance is going to equal 62.5 miles per hour times it by every hour we drive. So if we go for one hour, it would be 62.5. If we would be two hours, our distance would be 62.5 times those two hours. In three hours, our distance would be 62.5 times three. So this is the equation. So let's look at train B. This is train B right here. Train B. Uh, train B in one hour, well, we don't quite know what that number is, do we? So actually, let's go here to where we have an actual intersection. And what is this? This is going to go 203 hours. 200 miles in three hours. So now let's go to 200 divided by 3. Let's do that. 200 divided by 3. And that's 66.7. Going to round that to be a 7 miles per hour. So to write this as an equation, the total distance would be 66.7 miles every hour, and we're going to multiply it by the number of hours. So now which is faster, train A, which goes 62.5 miles an hour, or train B, which goes 66.7 miles an hour? And we're going to say which is faster, train B. Uh, it goes 66.7 miles per hour compared to train A going 62.5 miles an hour. Let's go on down to our next problem. We have Natalie can paint 40 square feet in nine minutes. So we're going to do Natalie here. 40, that's her distance, square feet, right, in nine minutes. So let's divide that to get our unit rate. 
40 divided by 9. That's 4.4 square feet square feet per minute. Um, to write this as an equation, linear equation, we would say that her total amount that she's painting would equal 40.4 times m for how many minutes now we have Stephen Stephen this is Stephen here uh, does 10 square feet in three minutes 10 and 3 10 square, remember our distance, 10 square feet in three minutes. So let's divide that. That gives us 3.3. So Stephen can paint. We'd go 3.3 times every minute to figure out his coverage. So that'd be Stephen. So who is painting more? Who's painting faster? Natalie or Steven? Let me get this out of this. Natalie or Steven? Natalie is. Natalie is faster. Is faster. Because... 4.4 is greater than 3.3. So let's go on to problem number three. Problem number three, we have Bianca and Cynthia. Bianca is running five miles in 41 minutes. So I'm going to do Bianca over here. Uh, remember, uh, miles per hour, right, D a distance over time, so 5 miles in 41 minutes. So she is going to be going, a, let's divide this, 5 divided by 41. It's going to look a little different, but we're doing it per minute. So she goes, she goes point, uh, one, two, 0 0.12 miles per minute and that doesn't sound like a lot but remember this is per minute not per hour to write this her total distance is going to be 0 0.12 times by the minute and then let's look at Cynthia uh, let's pick a point here So in seven minutes, she goes one mile, right? So miles per hour, distance over time. So Cynthia goes one mile in seven minutes, but we still need to divide that because we want one as a denominator. So we're going to come over to our calculator. One divided by seven. It's going to be one point four zero point. One four. So Cynthia's equation is going to be her distance. It's going to be zero point one four times every minute. So Bianca's going twelve hundredths every minute. Cynthia's going fourteen hundredths every minute. So who's going faster? Cynthia because 0 0.12 is less than 0 0.14 okay let's go to Jeff mowing the lawn and Mark we're going to compare Jeff and Mark so Jeff can mow an entire lawn of 450 square feet in 30 minutes 
So um, our distance divided by our time, our distance is 450 square feet, our time is 30 minutes. So 450 divided by 30, this is Jeff. So that's going to be, well, let's do this. 450 divided by 30, that's going to be 15 square feet per minute. Okay, now let's look at Mark. Mark, this has a graph, so let's do this here. Huh. Mark can cover in two minutes 14 square feet. So 14 square feet in two minutes. This is Mark. So if we divide that, 14 divided by 2, that's going to be 7 square feet per minute. Wow. So who's going faster? Jeff is, right? Jeff is quite a bit faster, right? Because 15 is bigger than 7. Let's go on to our last problem for today. Uh, we're walking, Juan can walk to school 0 0.75 miles in 8 minutes. So I'm going to do one down here. So if I divide that, I'm going to get 0 0.09 miles in a minute. Okay. And here is Lena. So we're going to compare Lena down here. Let me get rid of the calculator. Lena. Let's find an intersection here, right here. Lena can go one mile in nine minutes. One mile in nine minutes. So one mile in nine minutes. So let's divide that. Get 0 0.11. miles per minute. By the way, let's go back and write this as an equation. Juan's total distance is going to equal 0 0.09 times every minute. Lena's total distance is going to equal 0 0.11 times every minute. Who is going faster? Lena is. Lena. Lena is faster because uh, 0 0.09 is less than 0 0.11. Have a good day.